Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. Today we have an exciting arrival to the home office. The sanctum of productivity is being broken by the arrival of alcohol. It is Hamatse Sa, and this is a craft Israeli peri. You heard those words right. Peri is a pear cider and actually one of my favorite drinks. And I was so, 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 so excited to find this for the first time in Jerusalem a few months ago. Uh, now we have to put up, uh, those who are following this YouTube channel know that I am learning about uh, OBS Studio. So our uh, production team has readied this, uh, this quick message, just mentioning that, you know, local brewers or brewers in any geographical location are highly encouraged to reach out to the channel and send over products. So if that's you, you're a local brewer, you know who you are. <clears throat> it all helps keep the YouTube channel going, all helps keep me going. So uh, let's take a look at this craft cider. Now, I actually do really want to showcase this website because I have been in touch with uh, this company, Hamad Sa over recent, uh, recent weeks. I was actually going to go out to shoot a video there and uh, unfortunately, the forest fire happened. They were literally outside Jerusalem in the forest and uh, that kind of put a scupper on those plans. But let me just show you guys what they have um, on offer here and as I do that let me also just uh, put up this little banner I'm getting better at OBS slowly but surely directing you to their website now um, that is just to point out that I don't have any commercial affiliation despite this uh, pretty aggressive shilling for them right now but uh, that's it I'm at hamatsesa.com that means in Hebrew um, the fermenter apparently so I just want to show what they have on their website now. From what I've read, they have a Facebook page and some nice little history up on their site. The Israeli craft cider scene is very much in its nascent era, um, and uh, but they seem really passionate about making it happen, so it's very cool. They do cool things like rescue um, or use up old fruit, from what I could tell. Um, you can see here, uh, they have tipuach yavesh, which I'm gonna, uh, try some Hebrew here, that means um, dry cider. Uh, they also have tipuach chetzi avesh, which means semi-dry cider. They also have, and this is one I really like, the uh, tapuach, sorry, the agas chetzi avesh. Agas in, in Israel, in, um, it's, 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 it's too late in the evening for these videos. Agas means uh, pear. So agas chetzi avesh is a semi-dry uh, pear cider or peri. Um, agas yavesh is a fully dry pear cider or peri. And uh, they have some other stuff as well that my Hebrew is not going to stretch to at this hour. But I, I, will, I will stretch to one more thing. The Kashurut, the kosher certification is Rabanut Mate Yehuda. So if you are uh, a kosher or really concerned about the certifications, just to say that it is there. And that's what it is. Now, uh, you can buy online if you're based in Israel. You just need to click here onto Saiderim Alkoholim and you will get the whole um, offering here. Uh, you can see they sell it by the case. Now, it's not cheap like most things in Israel are, you know, generally not cheap. Um, it is, uh, what I paid for this was essentially uh, 37 shekels for the bottle that you're looking at here, and that translates to um, roughly $10 apparently at today's uh, currency exchange rate, but that is for a 750 milliliter bottle of the product, which um, I don't think is really that bad. Now, here's another reason it's not bad. It is 7%. So this is actually pretty strong in terms of its ABV content. And um, nice bottle, um, it's a glass bottle, so you're gonna have to put this out in the recycling, but it is, we're gonna be tasting Israeli Perry. So let's take a look here. It is, uh, what else can I tell you about it? 64% pear juice according to the uh, packaging. Now peri is something I definitely had in Ireland. I always thought it was a really, really underappreciated drink um, that has a reputation for being maybe not such a not such a guy's drink, but I don't know. I love fruit, fruit-based alcohol. Um, I love cider and I love peri. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and try this out. Now, I did just mention this, but I was going to go out to record Hamad Sisa. They're just outside Jerusalem, and unfortunately, as I mentioned, or I may not because I'm on take three after multiple OBS studio breakdowns, but I love OBS, so there's now a little banner at the bottom of the screen. Um, after 
um, after the fire, their place was like almost, almost went up in flames. So I never made it out, but it's still on my aspiration. So if they ever do watch this video, I hope they enjoy it. And I hope to meet the brewer and, the, and his brewing team soon. They have lovely photos of their, of their website. So here we go, I'm just gonna pour some out and um, I'm gonna attempt to uh, sound like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Perry, which I, I really don't. But I do have a strong preference for dry ciders and dry wine. I'm one of those weird people that don't like sweet tastes and the drier the better. So here it is, here's how it pours out of the glass. Now I'm, I'm sorry that I'm sorry that we, the, 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 the Production team do not have a um, see-through glass on hand, so you can just kind of see it's a little bit slightly cloudy, and I can't actually see through it. If I hold it up to the, to the camera light, you can really see that cloudiness. Now, the big moment, the big moment. Oh, wow, it is, it is dry. So I think this is a drink that, um, people who do not appreciate dry cider and Perry are not going to connect with. It's funny because there, I found one other Perry product here in Jerusalem. Um, it's like some random thing they bring in from Bulgaria to a local Russian store and it's so, so sweet. So the difference between this product and that product. Now, I don't actually really wanna drink all this right now so I'm taking tiny sips because it's strong. But um, you really get that pear taste coming through. It's a very distinctive taste, and that probably sets it apart from other Perry's I've tried so far, which admittedly is not a huge list, but you really get kind of a, that pear taste in there, which I guess is what you're kind of going for when you're looking for a uh, Perry. So I'm just gonna give a um, final peek of the website here for those interested. It is again, I'll just uh, pop that URL up on the screen there one more time hamatsesa.com based just outside Jerusalem they are doing craft ciders and uh, craft perries and boxes containing craft ciders and craft perries I have seen them uh, for sale in various locations in Jerusalem so I'm not sure if they have a stockist list here on the website Hanut, but uh, you can sort of find it throughout uh, Jerusalem in random places if you keep your eyes good and peeled for it. Um, thank you for uh, thank you for being part of this inaugural uh, alcohol tasting experience on this YouTube channel. More videos, more tastings hopefully, and perhaps even another uh, a trip out to Hamad Sisa coming up soon.